Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a neat new template from classtools.net for making timelines. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm at classtools.net and I'm using the Wikipedia timeline generator. And this will allow me to quickly have a timeline created based on Wikipedia articles. So let's do my search. Let's say I want to do a timeline about Harriet Tubman. And this will generate a summary of the Wikipedia article and then a timeline of events based on what's written in the Wikipedia article. Now, it's important to note that it is pulling from Wikipedia, so you might need to edit. You might want to fact check. You might want to edit what appears here in the timeline and or in the summary at the top of the page. And so to edit, go to the bottom left corner, hit that edit button, and we'll see the summary written here and then all the dates that are on the timeline. Now let's say that I want to only have the timeline go up until the end of the 20th century. So I'm going to delete everything that's after 1999 and save it. That's going to now generate the timeline again, but the last entry will be 1999. And of course, I could go in and edit any one of the things on the timeline itself by hitting that edit button again and going in and changing the information that appears here. So we'll save that. Now, I want to save a copy of this. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to enter a password so that I can go back in and edit later. And once I click OK, that generates a unique URL for my timeline. And I can go back in and edit at that address, provided I remember my password for it. And I can also go here and now share my timeline. And I can share my timeline by choosing the link option or embed code option, QR code, or I can even get a shortcut to it. Let's choose the embed option. And that'll give us an embed code that we can then copy and paste into Google Sites or Blogger or EduBlogs or WordPress or any other platform on which we're hosting web pages. So that's classtools.net's new timeline generator. Give it a try. And as always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.